Thank you for joining us for this week's Shepherd's Week in Review. On Monday, we featured pajamas, the coolest, the warmest, the funnest. Wardrobe Wednesday was about the miracle top, high-low asymmetrical from Joseph Ripkoff. I think you're gonna love that, it's in great colors. Fashion Friday was all about mixing it up for holiday wear, and Coffee Talk is about Zen meditation. Hope you enjoy and shop the collections up here. Welcome to Finishing Touches. Today, we're talking about pajamas. Such a fun gift. I, I love this. Yeah, these are from PJ Salvage. They do the cutest pajamas, really they themed do. pajamas yeah. every year. And that's what they specialize in, so they do it best, better than anybody. Look at this. I love you. Turn up the cuff and it yeah. all they all have a message. Yeah, so each one's individual. It can speak to you. So if you're getting it as a gift, you can really think about the message. So we have, this is called the succulent. And <laughs> a cute little message underneath it. Now, remember, this is 100% cotton flannel. Cozy. They're cozy. They're $99, and Geneva's wearing the red one, and it's got cats all over yeah, it. Yeah, so it's a great gift for somebody that has a cat, right? And the message on that cuff is meow for, forever. <laughs> So you got to be a cat lover, right? Yeah, you have to be. And of course, only oh, Elaine. Elaine. Well, she would of have the, the cocktail one. She should have a martini with her yeah. right there. So, <laughs> Black so based cute. with all the glasses. And uh, again, they're, they're, they come as a set. And look at this. It look says, this. nap time is my happy hour. So right? cute. It's just adorable. And then, of course, she put the cashmere over the pajamas. Well, of course. Why not? Well, only Elaine would do that. But I, I agree that. They're so warm. The cashmere wrappers are one size, come in tons of colors. Yeah. They also make a great gift. And it's like a blanket. But look at all the colors. We've only so shown you pretty. three. But there is a big selection online. I, I have a friend who gets one every year I for his wife. I love pajamas for Christmas. So this is another pajama. Doesn't look like one. No, this is you could wear this out. Wear, but these are actually pajamas, and they are so soft. I mean, it's it's cotton model. It has a little bit of spandex, so it's comfortable. But you could wear that when people are coming over and be comfortable. You could put this with a legging, even wear it out. Your mom has this one, and she wears it exactly. out. Exactly. I love the little dress. Also comes with a headband. So, yep. you know, you're washing your face at yep. night, putting That's cream on. Comes in some nice, soft colors. But we oh. also wanted to mention the games. We just discovered these the games. The gift of the season. Uh, we think they're so much fun. They're only $18. Great hostess gift. Yeah, and I mean, what a great idea if you gave each of these as a gift to girls that were coming over as for game night. So, so, of course, what is what is, of what course, is Elaine, Elaine doing? She's playing charades. With all her drama. Yes, so there's lots <laughs> so, of, there's movie buffs, there's sing it back. There are a all, lot of All fun. kinds of. And so. games have made a huge comeback. So thank you for joining us this Monday. We'll see you Wednesday for Wardrobe Wednesday. Perfect. Welcome to Shepherd's Wardrobe Wednesday, focusing on the magic tunic. <laughs> we love this one. Everybody has one or two or three. And we've got it for you in two new exciting colors. I love this. It's called Hyper Pink. Mm -hmm. But again, this is magic because it does all the right things. Does not crowd the body at all. Flows over it. Mm -hmm. Still nips in underneath the bust line. Has that great cascading front. Mm -hmm. V-neck, three-quarter sleeve. And really just lends itself to accessories so beautifully. So beautifully. This is the giraffe scarf from Love's Pure Light. So this is all Canadian, what we're showing you here. It's a modal scarf. And we went to the pink tonality in this to make it work. And you can wear this many, many different ways. Think of this top as a canvas. Exactly. I mean, I have several of them, and I love and live in them. Mm -hmm. Wash like a dream, hang to dry. This is a bit of a heavier scarf. Mm -hmm. um, you can wear this with a coat, or it looks great with this tunic. Again, has all the colors in there, purple, orange, yellow, and, of course, the fuchsia with the base of gray and the fur pom-poms. Yes. Here's Natalie. She's our new representative for Joseph Ripkoff, and we nabbed her to model this top because it looks so oh amazing. My, it's we amazing want... color on her. Right. <gasps> want to show it on different body shapes. Mm -hmm. So, Natalie as you can see is curvaceous she's statuesque um, so again she's in the hyper pink color here's our Nelly five foot tall she is in the other color the royal sapphire we want to present to well, you she's, today she's feeling no pain she's dancing mm -hmm. those knees seem to be doing okay <laughs> and she is an expert scarf tire she is this is another love's pure light scarf royal fleur and the pant is just a basic pant from joseph ripkoff i, I call it basic but it's a great black pant there she is. Look at her doing her magic. Oh, she's so fast. And, you know, she'd love to tie your scarf. If you came into yes. the, score, the store, she'd be very happy to show you a new trick. Ta-da! Yep. <laughs> okay, here back to Natalie. She's wearing the statement earring now with the royal sapphire top. 
and a palazzo pant, also from Joseph Ripkoff. I mean, that's perfect. You could go mm-hmm. out for dinner. You could go to an event in that. Yes. It's doing, again, that asymmetrical, the longer length at the back. It's very feminine looking. And if it's a little too low cut, you could easily put a little cami underneath it. Yes, we've we've tried that. Now, if you want it in basic black, wanted to let you know, yes, we do have it in basic black. And it's a three-quarter length sleeve, full length sleeve on Nelly. She's done it here with our new animal print cape from Parkhurst, this I one. I love this. Canadian made, and it's all cotton, and it comes in three colors. So great. This is the high-low V-neck three-quarter sleeve top from Joseph Ripkoff, and it's $135 at shepherdsfashions.com or train yards. Welcome to Shepherd's Fashion Friday. We are getting into the holiday spirit. The party invitations are coming in. And you know what? There's invitations to all kinds of parties. Casual, dressy, everything in between. So we thought we'd show you a little bit of a selection Mm -hmm. of what you might consider wearing over the holiday season. And we're starting off with winter white. Um, so we took, a, well, our cashmere topper. It's a one size piece available in different colors. Wearing it here in kind of that spicy tone mm-hmm. differently, Caramel. right? Mm-hmm. And tied it up at the front. You could do so much with this. This makes a great holiday gift over winter white, as we mentioned. So it's all about the cardigan. Oh, and the fur accents. Oh, we had to add the fur, really. Mm-hmm. just I, I love a winter white look in the fall, uh, winter time. It's so elegant, and I love this cardigan. It has the bigger popcorn stitch. Mm-hmm. Very minimalistic. Can wear this with jeans or anything. Really fits. It's a one size, but fits up to a 12-14. Yes. Not beyond and you've added the simply um, underneath it in the ivory. Yes, the new ideal piece, which is my new favorite, and Lisette L, uh, the pant in ivory. We always have this in stock. Now, changing the look a little bit, going to Simply's longer length blouse shirt, wearing it open. The necklace here from Two Way, also Canadian design, really brings the look together. That's an all Canadian lineup. Everything mm-hmm. there is made in, uh, in Canada. Mm-hmm. So again, taking the same blouse but putting a black bottom and making it really kind of cozy for that kind of maybe you know party in your in your neighborhood yes um a little um you know dressing the tree party with this lovely plaid sort of wrap or shawl yes and here you're seeing a close-up on the 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 details the yoke at the back and it just drapes down in a soft a-line great on leggings great on a pant okay Mm. and then we went to another color story all about the soft grays Mm -hmm. So Teresa, our hostess with the mostest, has on um, a great pair of pants Mm -hmm. uh, by Lisette. Yes. And we've added this great sweater, beautiful sweater that's from Poland. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, finishing off with this great scarf that has all the colors and the pom-poms. But as you can see, this has got a waterfall in the front Mm -hmm. and big pockets. Pin really makes a statement here. Mm-hmm. Um, from this Batami, is, Batami, right? this is sterling silver yes. from Israel. Mm-hmm. And this is what's underneath it. So it's the coordinating turtleneck soft cowl, which really makes wearing necklaces a little bit more difficult. That's why we put the pin there. Yes. Now, this has, again, been a real favorite. I love mm-hmm. this sweater. This is all hand-knit from Ireland in this beautiful cement color. Mm-hmm. It's called the Belcara cardigan. It just has the one button at the top, but it's nice that you can wear it unbuttoned. We've never shown that to you before with a turtleneck, a nice pendant necklace. So again, you're off to dinner, you're off meeting friends. It is that kind of relaxed look. So Whoa. nothing beats a black basic, the underpinnings, mm-hmm. a ba- black pant and a black top, and then just splash it with some sensational jackets or tops. Yes. This is from Frank Lyman. This is a knockout piece in this yes. animal print. Big buttons, three-quarter sleeve. It has a tulip sleeve. Nice collar. That's mm-hmm. what I like. It, it doesn't uh, crowd the neck, but it frames it beautifully. And it's the back here with this beautiful drape swing. Yes. It's very flattering. Very flattering. The nice big, big earring that really makes creates the statement. Speaking of statements, one size dressing again. This is the poncho uh, animal print from Parker's. This is a knitwear trio. So I'm wearing the same turtleneck Teresa had in red. This this is amazing, an amazing piece. The A-line skirt from Charlie B. We call it the skater skirt. Mm-hmm. And it, it's adorable. It's above the knee. But when you wear it with a black tight and boot, it looks terrific. So I took that same Covey wrap and I wore it as a scarf this time under the Boris coat. Yes. This is a fleece coat, ladies. 
again, because it's machine washable, throw it in the washing machine and take it out, wear it over and over again. You can afford to wear it in, in this bright light color of, of cream or ivory. Mm -hmm. Again, it has a beautiful collar and, and buttons. Yes. Okay, on to a Chanel inspired jacket. So this is the paillette jacket, uh, all placed on a tweed base. So there is stretch in there. You'll recognize that same red turtleneck I had and the same skirt. So you're going off to party now. You want something um, that'll keep you nice and warm, but still very stylish. The opaque tights are great too with that. And off you go. But tip, put it over our famous tank dress. Mm -hmm. This is the Simply tank dress that they've had for seasons and seasons. And it is a crowd favorite because yes. it is so adaptable to everything. Look how classic this is. Wearing the jacket with little strand pearls. Mm -hmm. Or you take one of our silk kimonos, yes. tie it up underneath the bust line. Mm -hmm. And it looks terrific. Colorful. Yes, it, it, it's got that little shrug appeal, right? Now, this is the kimono. In, Same thing that she right? had tied up. You've let it go. Yes, in its most natural state. I really like it against the ivory. Again, the necklace, this one from 2A with a black cord, really ties the look together. I like this because you can take this south with you because yes. this kind of has a tropical feeling. Mm -hmm. Going back to the classic, the Eileen Fisher. She is famous for these jackets. This has some structure to it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful fabric, three-quarter sleeve pockets, does all the right things. That longer length, wear it with pants or a dress or a skirt. Really, what we've jazzed it up here is like a fabulous statement necklace. Yes, collarless uh, piece, right? And um, it, there's a, a shimmer, but it's subtle. That's the way that Eileen Fisher designs it, and that's the way we like it. Ooh, Ooh. this is stunning. I mm -hmm. love the fact that with the illusion mesh at the top, you can still wear your bra. It is a longer length, and it is meant to skim the body. So if you so want to, wear a Spanx. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. And it's got the slit at the back. I like that you don't need to do a super high heel. And that bow detail. It's nice. Just off to the side. Mm -hmm. Very, very elegant. And really added that pretty bag with a pearl trim. Yes. Again, makes it very classic. This is this is kind of where any any season you want. If you don't see your size online, please do send us an email, message us, and we will do our best to get your size to you. Now, if you want, yeah, if you want to win a fifty dollar gift card to Shepherds, we would love to know how dressy do you get in this holiday season. Mm -hmm. Are most of your occasions casual, or do you really get dressed up? Thank you for joining us at Shepherds Fashions here at Train Yards or shepherdsfashions.com. <laughs> Um, oh, um, no. We're talking about we're talking <laughs> about students. I know, but we're talking about finding that space. I haven't found it yet. Mm. Where there's that tranquility, and meditation mm. apparently brings it to you. Yes, it does. <laughs> and that's what we're going to talk about today. I know Marlene's like, what is meditation? And how can I get me some? I want to be there. <laughs> I want it. Catherine Hull mm. is a meditation teacher in Ottawa. She's owner co-owner mm -hmm. of the peace room on spark street mall mm -hmm. now i had the honor of going to the peace room earlier this week to experience a class with <laughs> catherine i'm a meditator have been meditating for years but it you know it's different it's a different experience when somebody's teaching you a class and you're just mm -hmm. on your own kind of thing mm -hmm. and that's the thing about meditation right catherine there's mm -hmm. it's like finding your voice it's like finding the right exercise there's something for everybody you have to connect with what's right for you yeah absolutely you have to try the different tools and really find one that's gonna that's gonna help you and it doesn't have to be one way where people often think there's one way to meditate you know, like, oh, like you said, <laughs> you're sitting on a mountaintop yeah, in the exactly. Himalayas, <laughs> yeah. you know, and uh, yeah, and you're finding inner peace, and there's only one way. Yeah, there's many ways, right. many ways. Yeah. So, can we describe what meditation is and mm. what its purpose is in our lives, I guess, here in North America? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's good to bring it into <laughs> North America and so we can relate to it. Uh, yeah, it's the act of letting go. Uh, letting go, watching the mind, creating some space between you and your thoughts, where we often think we are our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And when we think we're our thoughts, they often trap us into this, you know, cycle that goes over and over or down the toilet, whichever <laughs> way you want to think chatter, about it. Chatter, yeah. chatter, yeah. And then that creates the world an is spinning. Yeah. yeah, it creates an emotional response in the body, and then that creates generally an action word. Sometimes we don't always feel good about how we've reacted to a situation. Um, but again, that mind has just triggered us and the emotions and then the action. So meditation is the act of getting to know the mind, 
you could call it like the mind musculature. It's like going to the gym, but for your mind. Yep. Uh, so you're able to get better acquainted with what this thing is doing, with the patterns, the words that are going on in mm -hmm. that, the images, and then create a little bit of space between that and have some re, you know, more responsivity versus reactivity. So it's like having perspective. Yeah. On, on you're watching some freaking circus happening when you step back from your thoughts or above or wherever you want to yeah, see yeah, your yeah. thoughts from you you're observing that it's kind of chaos in your mind mm -hmm. I mean that those thoughts are random very often they're not kind mm -hmm. and and in many 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 cases those thoughts are running our lives and we think they define who we are so meditation mm -hmm. gives us that opportunity just to take a little pause and take a look at that circus as opposed yeah. to being in it. But, and, but how do you turn it off? How do you hmm. turn off all that noise and so get into that? That's one of the misconceptions about meditation and why people often don't, don't give it more than like a couple days because they have this expectation, this unrealistic expectation that they're supposed to be no mind, right? right. And that takes Turned practice, mm -hmm. but it's more like turning down the volume on your mind. For instance, when you take your, your awareness, your focus, and you put it towards the breath or the body, and you're really focused on breathing, it's very hard for your mind to be busy or you simply don't notice it because you've turned up the volume on some other part of you and therefore down the volume on this chatter. So it's more about shifting your awareness and realizing that you have control to do that. Um, and then you're using that tool throughout your day. When something triggers you, when you get stressed and you notice you're like, you know, the mind starting to do its thing, you focus on the breath. And often meditation is really just breathing. It's taking some Well, that's breaths. what my watch keeps telling me. <laughs> <laughs> when it's like, you have an Apple watch and all of a sudden, you know, you're going through, all of a sudden you hear this little thing and it says, no. breathe. Oh, it says, that's breathe. amazing. Take deep breaths. <laughs> and do you? <laughs> <laughs> but I will now. So a lot of people <laughs> also don't know how to breathe. Okay. So we'll say like, you know, we have a lot of breath work at the Peace Room. We do breath work classes, so we teach people how to properly breathe, which is not only like really good for the mind, but good for the body. Like the can, you, can you show me? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to show you something? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll do a little demo okay. here. Okay. So close your eyes or soften your gaze. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start to tune into the inner landscape of the body and noticing that your body is breathing all on its own. Noticing the parts of the body that are expanding or elevating as you inhale. And the parts of the body that are softening or lowering as you exhale. And then starting to invite a deeper, fuller breath into the belly area. Taking a deep breath in, expanding the belly in all four directions, and then exhaling gently out the mouth and nose. Doing two more of those, big deep belly breath, and exhaling. And then opening your eyes when you're ready. <laughs> Wow. What do you think? Well, I just thought about that. That's what I was thinking right. about. I was not thinking was about... Was your mind busy? <laughs> well, just thinking about your you mind. You didn't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was it's not thinking of any problems or issues. I was trying to get that belly. Yeah, right, right, right. Breathing. Did so. you try it at home <clears throat> and did you feel what Catherine was asking mm -hmm. for? It's that it is that kind of letting go of this mm -hmm. to focus on where you are and who you are right here, right now. Mm -hmm. I have a great analogy for why meditation is difficult. Uh, it's that we spend so much time, if we think of this like our house, right? We have this one house for our lifetime here. And the head is like the front step. And we spend so much time like sitting on the front step. And when we open the doorway to go into the body of the house, it's really cluttered. So we've all seen an episode of Hoarders or know what that looks like to go into a space where it's like messy and things aren't organized and it, it just feels really not good to be there. Mm -hmm. So the body has these like bobos or triggers or stresses, you know, these, these traumas that we've had maybe throughout life. And so when we meditate, we essentially are opening the doorway to go into the body, but then it brings up all this stuff. So it's not always easy. So the breath helps us to clean. You could think of it like decluttering that landscape inside the body and create more space mm -hmm. so we can be in our body and be fully present rather than being in our head or on the front doorstep mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the time on our cell phone on the front door doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> Not wanting to go into the house. 
So meditation is a way to bring us fully into our body. And when we're fully into our body, we're connected. We have less illness, we have lower stress, we have better health overall, and we're able to focus um, on tasks at hand. Like mm. even as a business owner, we're able to focus more clearly and deal with the just natural stresses that, that come up. And it's as simple as breathing. What are the excuses you hear? I mean, I hear it too, because I recommend in my courses and my coaching that people take up meditation just to right. bring them into the present moment because mm. right now everything is good over here. <laughs> so what do you hear from people about why they don't want to try this? Right. The biggest thing is they think it's uncomfortable. That's number one. So they think you have to be seated upright for a long period of time. So we have a, you know, a belief at the peace room that a comfortable body will receive meditation more easily. So lay down, uh, especially if that's what your body needs. If you're stressed, like just lay down, give the body some rest. Uh, the second thing is they think it might be too religious, that they're confused okay. between religion and our spiritual. Um, there is a spiritual component, but there's also a lot of like health components yeah. to meditation science. as well. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and science is doing more research all the time and proving the amazing benefits of meditation. And then they, they also feel like it will just be too hard. So the unrealistic expectation they said is that they're gonna be like that, that Buddha, that guru right away. <laughs> yep. And they don't realize like exercise or anything else, it's going to take time. Um, so I tell people like, will you promise me that for 30 days you'll meditate like five minutes a day mm -hmm. and you're not gonna judge yourself yeah. for yeah. like trying to get to that outcome mm -hmm. right away. Mm -hmm. um, and that just like, just take the pressure off. Yeah. This, yeah. this society we're in, there's always like this, we're goal driven, we want to get there right away. expectations on everything, yeah. right? So if I don't get it done instant. right away, uh, yeah. you, you want instant. it instant. You want that, yeah. that secret pill that's going to fix everything. My, my partners and I were, we all come from the uh, fitness industry and we were all like personal trainers for a long time. So we already understand the realistic expectations around health <laughs> um, and around body uh, that people put on themselves. But on the mind, it's, we're just starting to get to know what the mind is. I mean, we've spent centuries trying to understand the body and we still don't understand it fully. And now we're going into the mind and forget even emotional and spiritual nature, <laughs> like well-being. We're just trying to focus on the mental well-being. Mm -hmm. right. And there's a mental health crisis in our, yeah. In yeah. our especially in, in Western, uh, yeah. in the Western world. So the more that people can like give themselves that space and it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just like exercise. If you were to do one good workout a week versus a little bit every day, you'd get more results with consistency. A little bit every day. Same thing with the mind. Even five minutes a day, mm -hmm. a little bit every day is going to go further than, oh, I need to be doing an hour. Right. That's not going to really last you the full week, especially at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. You need to be And you more... couldn't do a full full hour no, without not at the beginning. getting caught up in your thoughts. Well, yeah. how long do you do it? About 20 minutes. Every okay. morning? Almost every morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I do yoga and then, because originally going way, 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 mm -hmm. way back, that's what meditation was. Right. It was, yoga was to set you up to stretch out your body so you could sit in meditation. Mm -hmm. So you prepare the body. She knows the history. Well, a little bit because yeah. uh, for some reason <laughs> I've been drawn to this stuff forever. Yeah. And and I and I see why it. And you said it, Catherine, didn't you say it's like putting in in a bank account? Didn't you say something yeah. like that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like in a, depositing into your spiritual, emotional, <laughs> mental bank account. Yeah. It's, so it's you can take those withdrawals when life gets like really hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and who doesn't have that? That's the thing. None of us are without, right. even if it appears like that from the outside, none of us are without challenge and, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and the people that often have, you know, risen to levels of success, they've had the most amount of challenge to get there. I'm sure you, you mm -hmm. can relate to that. And so meditation is really key um, for helping us to navigate all of those challenges mm -hmm. and not get pulled down by them. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And, and the best excuse is I don't have time. That's my favorite mm -hmm. excuse. People, well, of course you don't have time if you don't make the time. Yeah. But you have the same time in your day as I do in mine as Marlene and Catherine does in theirs. So yeah. we have to create that space for ourselves. And yeah. again, going back to this idea that women are the leaders, we need to put ourselves first. Mm. If it's five minutes of your life, mm -hmm. find a way, go online, find something, go to the peace room, cut yourself mm -hmm. some slack and go to the peace room and have a nice 45 minute it's like going to the spa for your mind. That's yeah, a, that's, that's a very good analogy. It's so beautiful. Yes. Mm. And I did feel very peaceful when I came out of that. It's really great. So, that's awesome. Thank you very much for joining us You're today. Welcome. Really thank appreciate you. it. You've inspired me. I yeah, think thank I'll, you. I'll try. <laughs> try meditation. Awesome. Enjoy your day.